Right, yeah. Uh, we can actually go ahead and see if we've captured anything so far. I don't think we've really have captured anything yet, but you never know. If I take a look at captured... Um, so we've captured manpower. I don't have any captured guns as of yet, or anything of that nature. Okay. Right. Yeah, so Daz Wright could move that a little bit further. They could move over there to try and push back the uh, 121st Rifle Division. We also do have the Tank Division there that was routed. But I think what it might be better off, uh, what it might be better off to do then is actually have the Daz Reich. Oh no, they really can't cover that much to be honest. Like when they're broken up into a regiment, um, it might it might really be worthwhile doing that to be honest. One, I don't know if they'll be able to attack, but maybe they could. Maybe they could. We'll give it a go. Even if there is a chance, because I don't know if there's a unit there, but even if there's that slight chance I could still attack and force our way across the river there, uh, that would be worthwhile rather than moving a fresh unit time to do that. Um, there isn't a unit there, but we do secure the other end. We do secure the town over here, which is really good news, which is an additional 11 supply. Does help to actually cut, uh, well, solidify this somewhat. But we'll worry about that later. Okay, now we do have the 10th motorized division. Which, it looks like we're going to have to use a lot of these motorized divisions to just really keep this under control. Which I'm fine with. Hey, do you know Good to have you, my friend. We're doing pretty well here. It's only taken us about a good few hours to, <laughs> to actually get stuff rolling there. Uh, but I'm quite happy. Quite happy. Alright. So we do still have four Panzer Divisions, which is good. You know, this is why I love playing the Germans, because you get to say Division. There's nothing better in life than saying Division. Right, so they actually don't have that much ability here. Okay. We might have reached the limit. I'm sure there's a way to take Minsk, but it might actually come from the Panzer Divisions over this way. But I'm quite happy there. So you can see that we've been able to actually enforce our will without having to use the Panzer Divisions by one Panzer Division. But I'm still happy with that. Daz Reich has moved pretty considerably far away from the front line, so from where they started, in fact. So that's pretty good. Yeah. We are... Uh, well, we have a division over here, so we are one... Uh, let's see, uh, one hex, so one... Uh, well, I guess we'll count that one, so... One, two, three... Well, I'd say no, no, count this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six hexes. Uh, so we're six hexes out from Minsk, which is good to see. Minsk? Minsk. I don't know why I said Minsk. It's because I'm looking at what Pino put in the chat there is a picture of a cat. <laughs> Bloody cat. Okay, so let's take a look then. So we have actually resolved this pretty well. We still have forces over here that can be moved. Uh, what we're going to be looking towards doing then. So we still have a lot to do. This is why I spend so much time playing the first turn of uh, one of these. Because there's just so much I really like to try and maximize as much as possible. Uh, but now we need to look at how we're going to break through over here. Now, thankfully, the situation is different. Um, or is it? Do we still have... Okay, so not as bad. It's not as uh, terrible because we don't have the Bug River over here really causes us problems. Uh, the river, of course, causes a lot of problems. But at least over here we do not have that much of a problem. Yeah, even having this, this little slip, this little bit of land over here actually makes a tremendous difference. Uh, because that is a major river there. So having that is a tremendous advantage. Have the rail lines in place a tremendous advantage as well. There's even a port over here which is handy. Uh, Mamel there. Right, so what we can do here then is I want to figure out where those heavy guns were. Um, heavy howitzers, maybe. Ah, oh, there we go. So we have the 355s over here. We have the 300. Okay, then they're not exactly in the place I'd like them to be. Like, okay. But this doesn't particularly help me. We do have Drotno over here, which could potentially try to uh, cure. Yeah, and it probably is worthwhile having some of the uh, sort of the infantry bush towards uh, Grodno. Um, even securing those rail lines there would be worthwhile to try and inhibit their ability uh, ability to retreat. We'll see about that. All right, so let's take a look then. So we do have the Ninth Army of Army Group Center. Uh, so this is ninth. Sorry, this is tenth. No, twenty four. We do have the Panzers in here. What we need to do then is we need to actually work out the best path to actually get the Panzers to Minsk. 
the issue is that our rifle divisions over here, which we're going to have to take care of. Uh, what do we have in reserve? What do we have in the rears? We do have the Elkhor. Uh, we do have the Blisi. 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 However you want to pronounce it. C. SS Infantry Division. Which is nice. Um, yeah, but that's obviously not going to be in a position. I could have them move out by a rail, of course. Okay. So I do have these divisions over here. Right. So I don't think I need to bother with any of this over here. I don't think we really need to bother. I think what we need to bother with is actually moving on towards that. Uh, I think I'd like to get something to Grodno. That would be ideal. Uh, let's see. Can I run some reconnaissance to try and figure out what is actually in this area? Crossing that river is going to be a major pain in the ass, however. And it's probably not going to happen. Right, so we actually do see another unit over here in Grodno. Uh, let's run some additional reconnaissance then if we can. Right, I'm not seeing anything right now. So if we do go back then, if we go ahead and check on the uh, forces destroyed. Yeah, I'd love the fact. So we've got 35, uh, 3,605. That's some really nice numbers there. Let's go ahead and work that one out then. We've got a pretty good ratio. <laughs> we've got a pretty good ratio. That's a 3,605 divided by 35. So that is 103 to 1 there, which is excellent. Really quite happy about that. Uh, we can still destroy yet more, which, as we've seen here, we do have some uh, air units that will defend their units. Uh, so let's see then. We do have the motorized, we do have the panzer divisions over here. We also want to allow the panzer divisions to move. We do have some unassigned infantry divisions over here as well, actually. Now, getting to Riga is important, but it's not as important, but it is important to secure Riga first time as well. It can be done. But I think the major one is that we want to secure Minsk first turn. Having Riga would be nice because we could try and get the rail lines there, and it would be a really nice... Well, then again, no, I think... I, I suppose, arguably... I'd say, arguably, uh, Riga is more important than Minsk, because obviously Riga does benefit from having the rail lines... Sorry, from having the port. So it would act as a railhead, so it would actually allow the units there to resupply. So yeah, Riga's actually more important, but I think it is easier to get to. There are units over here, but they can be pushed outside the uh, outside of their path there. So I do have the 253rd Infantry Division over here, uh, which is more than likely going to be my uh, plague toy here. Right, so we do have a couple of divisions over here that can be shifted. We do have... You know, I really like this song. This song, by the way, is from Panzer Corps 2. Do go ahead and check that out. Really awesome game there. Titanic Struggle, indeed it is. Right... Okay, you're attached to the 16th Army, which is attached to Armour Group North. Okay. So we do have these divisions on the front line. Bloody hell, 32nd Infantry Division is looking fantastic there. They be looking like a snack. Their morale's really good there. Morale makes a tremendous difference. Okay, let's get the ball rolling then. How are we going to start this? So they have level 2 fortifications there. I think what we're going to do then is really go for it how we did in the south and well around the area of Resetorsk, essentially. We're going to see about securing these positions. We have clear terrain, we have clear terrain, we have clear. Right, clear along the front lines, which is good. We do have clear here, but we do have a headquarters unit and some other units in here. Um, an anti artillery brigade, okay, so that's going to be no problem really. So what we want to do then is we want to secure... Let me make this arrow a bit bigger. Uh, let's go ahead and pick a different colour. We're going to go ahead and choose a... We'll choose a dark green to represent the knife army, I believe it is. So, what we want to do then is we want to actually go ahead and push up with the knife army, I believe it is, towards Vilnius and then uh, towards Minsk. At least that's going to be how we do it with the actual armoured units. So, um, no streams for Sliver for a full week after this one. I'm not too sure, actually. <laughs> I'm not too sure, actually. I don't know about the future. If I had a crystal ball, I'd probably sell it. As it could, in fact, be the crystal skull. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be the way we go there. Uh, the difficulty that we have here is, yes, there's a lot of clear terrain, but we do have the rivers to take into consideration. 
we're going to have to try and move them as much as possible through clear terrain. The difficulty is we do have clear terrain here, thank God. Uh, but there's light woods over here. We do have the light woods and town. Uh, clear, 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 clear. And then we do have the actual city, but we have forest here. At least over here, we did have a, we did have a decent chunk of the path that was actually clear terrain, which was nice. In reality, what we need to do then is link up to about there. And at least that would create the pocket that we need. But I do want to be in a position to where I can actually go ahead and try to secure Minsk. Minsk might be possible if we're very lucky. What I'd like to do is go actually, uh, we'll go ahead and try and run some reconnaissance over Minsk, try and get a better idea of what's going on there. Um, if we can build up a detection level, we might have a shot, like an actual shot to take them on. Let's see. So detection one, 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 one. Yeah, it's not going to happen there. So, unfortunately, I only do have six minutes left that I'm going to have to hand over to Mr. Helping Hands. Which I'm looking forward to actually having a good, strong pair of Helping Hands there. Uh, I don't know about that, actually. Disco, that's a good question. That's a good question. Um, I'd say probably go ahead and tweet, uh, tweet at Sliverin, if you use Twitter. Uh, probably a good one. Right, so I'm going to have the 253rd here. This is probably going to be the last attack of the stream. Maybe we'll not see more after that. We'll see. Right, we'll push you up to the front there. Are you attached directly to freaking 16th Army? Why the hell are you attached to 16th Army direct? That's cray cray. Right, okay, what the hell? Right, so I do have the 6th um, core over here, which actually does have the space for them. This core is attached to 9th Army. They're going to be attached to 9th Army, which actually does take away a little bit of spot there. But I do have additional divisions I will be giving to them, so eh, that's fine. So we'll have them attached there to the 6th core. Right, so we'll have you changed over to the 6th core, to administration points, so they're changed over. Right, so I don't think I need the, um, I don't think we need the actual deliberate attack. Ah, thank you very much there, Maverick. Yeah, it's been a long while since I actually played War of the East, so I'm, I'm looking forward to having like a proper campaign. This has been really good, we've actually had a lot of success here so far, which has been excellent. I do, really, I do very much worry about if I do save it, it will crash, but we'll see here. Right. So, 1-1, one, one, they do have fortifications, however. We only have 14. I think here might be wise to use the full attack. They do have bad morale. There's no river crossing, and it is on clear terrain. We probably can take it then, actually. But then again, I don't think I even have to attack that. Let somebody else deal with that. What we need to do then is we need to free up the actual position here for the panzers. Okay, we'll attack there with a fort uh, fortified region. Attack fort fourth. Yes, okay, that surrenders to us, which is fantastic news. Very little losses. So I could move there, but what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go for a... I mean, 1-1, one, one, we should be able to manage that, but I'm going to go for a plant attack. I don't know, do we go for the hasty? Ah, I could probably go for the hasty, but I don't want to be defeated. 188, it's only 1-1. One, one. It should be viable. We have 10 detection on it. We could probably handle that. We're going to go for a hasty attack and be risky. Okay, does work out. That's fantastic. 5.4121. That's good news. Small losses. Okay, I can push up even further. So we're going to push up again. Right. So I have the ability to still launch a planned attack or a hasty attack if I so wish to do so. What we might want to do here then is... Let's see. So we do have the clear terrain over here. We have clear terrain over here. They have level 1 fortifications in this position here. Uh, it might be worthwhile to actually attack this division here to the south. Or oh, the 126th division could potentially manage that. We do have the 188th division over here, which has 10 detection. 10 detection here. Uh, that is closer to the actual core headquarters, which is closer to Vilnius. Uh, sorry, closer to Kaos. Uh, hello there, Jackal Gia. Love that name. How are you doing there, Helping Hands? Yes, I will be signing off to Helping Hands in about three minutes here. So we have one or two more attacks, and then we'll be getting ready. Looking forward to seeing you helping hands as well. Everything's been great. Right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, I mean, I could attack there. I think it's probably better to do that. That's clear terrain, which is still good. That allows them a little bit of room there. Makes that a free wide supply corridor. It also helps uh, the... Yeah, we're going to look at what helps us out. They've had their... Yeah, they've had that opened up. I could attack the same... I could attack the 188th once again, and that would actually help us there. It would push them back further. But I think I'm going to use the uh, 253 to attack. We are within range of the core, so we're going to go for a planned attack over here. And 5.16 to 1, yes, that succeeds. That's exactly what I wanted. 
And I do have the ability to launch another planet attack, so we'll go ahead and do it. 253. Uh, 4.49, wow. Uh, they, wow, okay, they're shattered. That is, that's the best result I could have got there. But there we go, that is where we're going to have to leave it here for today. So I'm going to be signing off here to help enhance in just a moment. So I hope you guys have had a great time. Uh, do remember that uh, Gennagrisi's War in the East is on the Nature Store, is also on Steam. And uh, happy birthday to Sliver in 20 years. Still looking young, only slightly younger than I am. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, they haven't revealed anything other than it's been worked on and it's progressing as a project. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead here and sign up. And so thank you so very much for watching there, ladies and gentlemen. I will post a link to my channel if you guys would like to go ahead and check that out. Uh, Mr. Helping Hands is a big boy. He uh, He's going to be taking all the attention here in a second. <laughs> Those big, big strong hands, you see. Big strong hands. There we go. So, until next time, thank you for watching. I will see you in I. I shall see you guys in the future. Goodbye for now. Been a blast. Quite literally. See you next time.